Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Thursday the 3rd of September 2020. This service follows the Church of England's common worship scheme of prayer, uh, except that we use some hymns in place of some of the canticles. For this service you will need a Bible of your own so that you can read the Bible readings for yourself and for that purpose you'll also need the video remote if you're watching the service on video uh, in order that you can pause the video and uh, read the Bible or pray just as you wish. Because after all the point of a service is that each of us should personally receive from the living God. Let's begin by asking him into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The opening canticle for a Thursday is Psalm 67, God be merciful to us and bless us. And here's a hymn version of that canticle. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalms set for today are Psalms 113 and 115, so here's a hymn version of one of those. Oh, 
And you might like to pause the video in order that you can read the Psalms for yourself and ponder on their meaning. Today's Old Testament reading is 2 Samuel chapter 15 verses 13 to the end. Uh, David flees from Jerusalem after Absalom stages a palace coup. Uh, please pause the video and read that for yourself in your own Bible. And there is a set canticle uh, for response to the Old Testament for uh, Thursdays uh, and that's Isaiah chapter 42 verses 5 to 8a. I have called you as a light to the nations. The New Testament reading uh, is the final part of Acts chapter 9. Uh, having heard the story of St Paul, uh, his conversion, we now go back to Peter and two healings uh, which are attributed to him. Acts chapter 9 verses 32 to the end. Please pause the video and read it in your own Bible. One of the themes of the Acts of the Apostles, according to Luke, uh, is that as his followers follow Jesus, uh, they become more like Jesus. And both Peter and Paul are involved in various miracles and healings at different times. Uh, and perhaps we can pray that we too uh, would be able to be involved in the healing ministry. Here's something about that in song.
And so let us pray, let us ask God uh, to speak to us through the scriptures and let us bring to him the things which are on our hearts. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for your great grace to us, expressed to us uh, in the words of Psalm 67. You are gracious and you bless us. We pray that you would help us to keep you visible in our minds. Help us not to depart from your presence, even though we may be distracted by many things. Help us to find ways of casting ourselves on your care and knowing your love in our lives. In the two uh, Psalms, Heavenly Father, uh, we pray that we would be able to give you our thanks, receive your presence uh, and exult in your great love for us. We thank you that you care for us and we praise you for your goodness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, when the bottom drops out of our own world, uh, when circumstances turn against us, where it seems we have nowhere to turn except to flee, uh, help us to be confident in you. And as David was in a panic but nevertheless remembered the Lord his God, Help us to do the same. We pray that you would be our strength and our protection in times of difficulty. But we also pray that you would give us the grace of casting ourselves on you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, we pray for others who are in the pits of difficulty at the moment. Those who need your healing, uh, those indeed who are close to death, we put them into your hands. In this time of coronavirus, we ask for your healing power to be made known to us, and we pray that you would lead us out of darkness into your marvellous light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and pray for whatever is on your own heart at the moment. the collect for the twelfth week after Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray, and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask save through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray the Lord's Prayer as Jesus himself taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So may God give us his strength and his confidence to face whatever may be thrown at us today and to remain serene in him.